a boil and I'm quitting alcohol. So which way are we going to go with this one? Because we had the fucking UFC today, which was pretty fucking action packed. And we also have Borat, who (laughs) is apparently a Mossad Zionist, Sasha Baron Cohen. Maybe we'll start with Borat and then we'll move on to the UFC. How does that sound? So, yeah, I haven't really looked into it, but it was pretty obvious that something was going on with Ali G from the fucking beginning. But (laughs) I don't really give a fuck if he is, is a fucking Mossad agent or whatever they're fucking claiming he is because Sasha Baron Cohen is one of the most talented cunts I've ever fucking seen and pretty much no one can do what he can do. Did he do 9-11? I don't know. (laughs) Was he part of it? I don't know. Is he the shadow government? I don't know. I can't tell you that but is he funny? Yeah, he's fucking funny. What I do think about a lot, though, is fucking in Borat 2, I think it was Rudy Giuliani. So, they basically had Rudy Giuliani, who's no lightweight politician. He was the mayor of New York through fucking 9-11. He ran for president. He's like a fucking way up there dude. Borat basically got Rudy Giuliani in a compromising position. Basically, Rudy Giuliani was about to get blown by what could have passed as an underage girl. Rudy Giuliani was in a hotel room ready to get his dick out for a strange, hot foreign girl, like it's happened a million times. And the only thing that fucking stopped it is they ran in and it all fucking stopped. And I always thought, well, if... Borat can get fucking Giuliani in a sexually compromised position and he can get it on camera, basically get it as part of a movie. How how hard would it be for real like Epstein level Mossad agents in real honeypot setups getting all sorts of people to do all sorts of things on camera and then blackmailing it with that. Everyone must be fucking compromised. Like the Epstein client list must have everyone on it. Diddy's baby oil list must just fucking be. It must be every single person in Hollywood. They probably don't even know they've been fucked over until afterwards. They're like, oh, shit. I was just going with the flow. I thought this was a party. Everyone told me Diddy's parties were fucking the shit. Yeah, those everyone are also cunts that got caught on film the same as you just did, cunt. So if you think your politicians aren't compromised, you're fucking living in fantasy land. Anyway, fucking UFC today. I really... I struggled with the UFC today because... I have a dodgy set-top box, and it was fucking playing up, and I was getting an interrupted stream, so I was like sort of jittery and cutting out, so I saw the last two fights, I saw the main fights, Robert Whittaker versus Humsat, and well, that was just a fucking, that was a demolition, and poor fucking Robert Whittaker got his jaw absolutely shredded. It was a strange one. He was getting dominated, but it wasn't. didn't even look that bad. And then he got the fucking neck crank or the face crank or whatever and just tapped immediately. And then you saw the photos after it and his teeth are all over the place and his jaws all fucked and that's fucked. And it's depressing because he's an Australian legend, but Hamza looked fucking incredible. And then Ilya Taporia versus Max Holloway, another UFC legend, getting absolutely fucking nailed by a young buck future fucking legend. This guy could be the fucking greatest. He could end up being the greatest, Taporia, because I went back today and looked at his Cage Warrior fights. He had 
eight cage warrior fights before he joined the UFC. And I think seven of them were by submission. So he's got a fucking incredible ground game. I watched a few of them. I watched most of them actually. And his ground game is unbelievable. And he comes into the UFC and he's just knocking people out. Stand up. It's fucking crazy. And he's 27. And I don't see many weaknesses and the way he said he's going to submit Islam Makhachev, the confidence and the way he said it, I believed him. That would mark him down as, I don't know what that would mark him down as, one of the greatest. It depends how the career goes from here. But he's just beaten Volk and Holloway and he knocked Holloway out and no one's ever done that before. It was a clean fucking knockout too. So he's uh he's right up there. I'm gonna be watching every single one of his fucking fights with interest now. Anyway, fucking I gotta <laughs> I gotta go back to work now. In like four and a half, five hours, I'll be at work. And it's just another week, another six days at fucking work. So yeah. I'll be going. And I'll see you the fuck later.